Me personally? You wanna talk about that? I can't date no girl with OnlyFans. How come? I respect the bag, but imagine you going to McDonald's and you can get two McChickens for ten dollars. Subscribe to your girl for ten dollars too. Your girl worth two McChickens. How that work? <laughs> the chicken is crazy. How that work? I don't know. Your girl worth two McChickens. How you gonna feel about that? <laughs> it's gonna make her feel like I should be dating that woman. Exactly. He does have a point. Dating a girl that has OnlyFans is like, it's like anybody can see her for $9.99. And sometimes it's even less than that. So it's like maybe even half a McChicken. I don't know. When I see people who date these OnlyFans models and I'm like, don't you have any value for yourself? Like, why would you pick the bottom of the battle? The body out of all the girls in the world, you pick this one that is doing the most disgusting thing on camera that's the one that you're gonna pick like to me i mean he's saying they're worth ten dollars to me they're basically not worth anything if you're a girl doing only fans you are not like i mean you're just the bottom bottom of the barrel like and i have to tell you guys like if you're dating a woman and she does only fans man you have to toss that chick to the side there is no way you should commit long term to any chick that is doing only fans because just imagine the mental state of that person just it's just broken the background broken and then imagine the embarrassments that you you and your family is going to have to deal with for years to come incredible guys don't oh just thinking about it grosses me out only fans empowers you is it empowering for you miss saudi arabia it's very empowering. Okay. Uh, why is yes. it empowering? I am Haram. very proud of myself. Haram. 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 Okay. Uh, women don't want consequences for poor decisions. If you sexualize yourself as a woman, nine out of ten times, every man you deal with is going to sexualize you as well in reciprocation. A man can um, objectify you unless you objectify yourself first. Well, you can be sexually free, but don't sit there and expect people to respect you. They're not going to. Uh, Shorty's crying. Probably. Yeah. And here's the thing, that's sexual like empowerment for you. Yep. When, when you can't speak about her. what you do openly and you, you feel a certain way, it, it goes back Ouch. to the biology, man. Women know deep down that, yo, it, this is not acceptable for me. But deep down, that's why there's a reason why when a guy asks a girl, what's your body count, whatever, they hesitate. They don't want to say it. There's a reason why when girls say, I do OnlyFans or whatever it may be, they're kind of hesitant to say it. Hey, man, the truth hurts. The truth hurts. Anytime you see any of these girls on OnlyFans posturing that they're happy, they're proud, but when you get down to it, when they go home and they're alone and all the door, all the lights get turned off and no one is there for them to brag to, deep down inside, they are sad as heck. They are sad as heck. Guys, you know how many only OF girls are out there just, just, just sad and miserable? I know some people are like, oh, they cry in the Ferrari, but they're just sad and miserable. And the real truth is that they're just the bottom barrel of society the real truth is that most of these girls that actually do only fans they are actually not even happy with themselves they regret it over and over again they say some of them say why if they could turn back the hand of time they would freaking not do it anymore i know that there's some out here that are like just like this chick in the beginning of the clip she was so proud and she was like happy everybody was celebrating her but at the end when Myra really told her what it was and she really looked into herself, her true emotions and how she felt about what she did finally came out. Most of these girls are damaged goods and nobody should be dating them because they themselves understand that they themselves are bottom of the barrel, bottom, bottom of the barrel. And we usually have like a month. I got an abrasion on my <laughs> from <laughs> every time. 10% of what you've been making for the last couple of years would still be like a load of money for the average person, which, you know, you could easily live off of and stuff like that. But we also have financial goals. You know, we've talked about buying a beach house at length. And uh, I kind of feel like this whole Jason Love arc has been, you know, oh, we're getting getting to the beach house category. 
Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Every time I leave for a scene with another man, <laughs> don't forget that beach house, babe. That house in Malibu. I'm gonna buy it for us. <laughs> Let me just go get double team right quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, that is, it, that is not a thing. Yeah, if you're getting double team, then at least one of them is gonna be actual vanilla over here. Okay. Um, Will you film for us? No. <laughs> I'm getting a call. Oh, okay. I'm I'm gonna take this. Oh, hello. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> Mr. Jason Love. How you doing, man? It was good. It was good. Uh, we're just doing a little podcast here and uh, figured that we would, uh, you know, have a little conversation with you to see exactly how all this was for you as well. Oh, my gosh. Cool, cool. That's why I chimed in. Catch y'all. See what's up. Jason, give me a, a genuine review. How was it? You want like a, like a, a number scale or just like? <sighs> Numbers sounds like it could be hurtful but if, you, <laughs> if it's a high number sure it's like a four 100 percent, nine out of ten really nine out of ten who's like if i should feel diminished as a man as a result of this like the narrative is very very strong i just want to get your thoughts on that and if, if if how people should think about that in in the context of me being you know the the silent third party and all this well i don't know like if you look at it in the business aspect then basically it was just a job, you know. She's high up in her ranks. I'm high up in my ranks. Us two together obviously would make the most amounts of money. So it's not so much being a cook. If you're comfortable with it, y'all communicated it prior. Obviously, she said y'all did. So it's not really a cook situation. It's more of like two people coming and making an understanding. Yeah. You know. So if you're cool with it, then you know it is what it is. Me personally, I don't know if I have enough in me to allow it. But everyone's different. Everyone have different levels of I say mental maturity. Wow. I mean, it couldn't be me. Honestly, it couldn't be me. I, even the guy that smashed his wife is saying he he couldn't even allow his girl to do that. I honestly, I don't understand what got into Adam. Like, why would you let your woman do that? Like you guys, everything was great. Now imagine, look at how they are on that last clip. Both of them embarrassed. Mumbling their words and like, oh, I, I, I don't know. This is this doesn't seem right. This is okay. like, like, like it's like they are walking on eggshells around each other because it, honestly, everyone is clowning at him. I know the guy's like, oh, he's not a cuck, but honestly, he is. Very simple, he is. I know they they're trying to dress it up, but it is. She freaking cucked you. Whether you want to see it as she didn't or she did, she did. If you let your, if you're married to a woman and you let another man smash your woman, you're a cut, and you know it, come, right, G guys. Never, I mean, this should be obvious, but never let your woman talk you into a situation like this. Adam, honestly, I don't know what he was doing, but hey, if that's what they're into, that's what they're into. But I just think that when you're into stuff like that, keep it at home. Because when you put it out on the internet, this is this is this is the result. Adam looks so embarrassed, and he should be. Guys, that is the, the video for today. If you haven't already, guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Guys, don't forget to hit this video with a like. With that, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.